Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, we are from group 4. Today we will do the presentation about the results of the discussion of pest and disease control on watermelon in Kelurahan Bugel, Kecamatan Panjatan, Kulon Progo, Regency. Next. Okay, first of all, let me introduce the member of group 4. Uh, the first one is me, Corina Delina Hutahayan, with student number 16186, Luhung Dharma Bakti, with student, student number 188, Teksenia Saswati, with student number 189, Ana Rustiana Maharani, with student number 192, and Shifa Fairuz Zahra, with student number 194. Next. Oh, uh, okay. Watermelon. Watermelon or Citrullus vulgaris S is one of the horticultural commodities of the Cucurbita Ceae or pumpkin family. Watermelon is one of the seasonal fruit crops that have an important meaning for the socio-economic develop development of households and the state. Watermelon grows in soil rich in organic organic matter, fertile, loose, and has good aeration and drainage. Next. Okay. Uh, we will discuss about watermelon pest. The first one is armyworm or Spodoptera litura, and then uh, uret, uh, bullish fleece, or Bemisia tabaji, and the last is fruit fly or Bacchus sp. Armyworm or Spodoptera litura f. Armyworm or Spodoptera litura f. First, this species is Polyphagus. Symptoms of armyworms attack Spodoptera litura. Starts from the larva stage. The young larva damage the leaves and leaf remains remnants of the upper epidermis or transparent and leaf bones. Next. How to control it? First is technically regulating sanitation by cleaning plants, debris, and destroying it, doing good tillage and crop rotation. And then mechanically picking the attacked, uh, attacked leaves and taking adult larva, then destroyed. Biological using a mixture of several vegetables, pesticides from him or other indica. A juice. Then chemically using insecticides with active ingredient C permethrin, beta C glutrin, profenophos, bacillus thuringiensis, and etc. Second is uret. Uret or Orsites rhinoceros larva, which are often called in Grindon or Uret or Caterpillars are yellowish with thin colors. Cylindrical in shape, fat and wrinkled curve to form a semicircle like the letter C with a length of about 60 until 100 mm or more. Larva develop on rotting wood, compost, and on almost all these decaying organic matters with sufficient moisture. Okay, the urat pest can be controlled by biological method and mechanical method. For the biological method, we can using the entomopathogenic fungus, Metarigium sp. And for the mechanical method, we can collect in and destroying uret eggs and larva. Next. 
Oke, okay, the next page is Bulis Ves or Bemisia Tabaci. Next. The description of Bulis Ves or Bemisia Tabaci. This page is fully focused and then the symptoms of an attack is necrotic patches on the leaf and symptoms caused by deterioration of the cells and tissue of the leaves as a result of nymph and adult insects. Next. How to control it? First, we can use biological method. And then, uh, second, we can use technical method. And third, chemical method. For the biological method, can be done by using natural enemies. And technical method uh, can be done by envir environmental sanitation, yellow traps, or eradication. And then the chemical method Uh, can be done by using an insecticide based on imidacloprid, carb sulfan, proteovos, tiapuron, and tiametosan. Next. Okay, the next test is fruit fly of Gecus SPP. Next. So, fruit fly larvae live and develop for 9 to to 10 days in the fruit flesh. The symptoms of early attack are indicated by presence of black spots or only spots from the ovipositor puncture. The puncture of the fruit fly ovipositor causes the fruit to rot and fall before ripening. Next. There are several methods that can be done to control this space. The first one is Technical method. This technical method can be done by doing sanitation, destroying infected fruits by burning them. And the biological method is by utilizing parasitoids and predators that exist in the natural, such as the users SP, obvious SP, ants, and also spiders. And the mechanical method can be done by utilizing sterile insects that produced by radiation technique. And the last is by doing chem chemical method by eradicated adult flies and larva with host station 40AC with 0.15 to 0.2% dose and also libacid with uh, 550AC with 0.2% dose. Next. Uh, the next is watermelon disease such as Johnny Mildo. Next. Oke, okay. Johnny Mildo. Kasus by fungus pseudo pseudoperonospora subensis. The symptom of this disease are that the infect leaf show angular yellow spot like for like follow the groove of the bone and can attack in one leaf separately. This disease can also attack on the fruit. The fruit that produced from infect plants small and not good. How to control it? There is uh, three uh, ways to control. The first one is technical culture. Make the dist distance more tenuous. Whatever is the distance between rows and row spacing. Uh, the second is mechanically. Doing watering plants in the morning, maintaining the balance of nutrient in P and K, and uh, another one is M MG in plants. Another mechanically ways is pruning infect leaves, cleaning grass or weeds that grow around the plant. The last one is chemically. Applying protect, protective contact fungicides containing copper, mancozet, manep, zinep, etc. Okay, there's the conclusion of our discussion. Based on the result uh, of, this, of the discussion, it can be concluded that the pests that attack watermelon, watermelon plants belonging to farmer in Kelurahan Bugel, Kecamatan Panjatan, Kabupaten Kulon Progo, are army worm, uret, bullish place, and fruit flies. While the disease that attack watermelon plants is downy mildew, pest control should be carried out by implementing integrated Pest control starting from technical culture, physical, mechanical, biological, and chemical methods. The application of various, uh, various kinds of the control method 
can increase the effective in the effectiveness and efficiency of pest and disease control. Okay, there is the photo of us when we do when we meet the farmer. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.